Hi, my name is Katya, and today I'm going to be talking about Unit 1 of the APCSA curriculum, Primitive Types in Java. Java uses something called variables to store information when you code. These include um, integers, decimals, characters, and booleans, and those data types are determined in the beginning, unlike other programming languages such as Python. So you can sort of think of these variables as a special kind of box that can hold a value inside of them. And this value is of the specified type, the data type that we said in the beginning, and this can be changed or you can add to this box or take out from this box whenever you want. So when you declare variables, you make it known that the variable actually exists, and when you go to initialize them, you actually give them a value. So the way you do this in Java is this first line is the declaration, so the type, the name, is your declaration and then to initialize it you say the name and then you set use the equal operator to set some new information to that variable so java can also do basic math such as addition subtraction multiplication division and modulus modulus is basically remainder math so 10 mod 2 would be 0 because 10 divided by 2 does not have a remainder while 10 mod 3 would be 1 because 10 divided by 3 has a remainder of 1. So Java uses PEMDAS or order of operations just like we do in real life and there's one thing with integer division in Java. Java will always round down. So for example 5 divided by 2 will not be 2.5 rather it will be 2. So another thing in Java is just efficiency for writing. Say we use compound assignment operators in order to write less. So in Java, you would write for, if you want to set the X value, you want to increment it by one, you write X plus plus, and that will add one to your X and will basically be the same thing as writing X equals X plus one. Same thing goes for if you want to decrement your variable by one, instead of X equals X minus one, you would write X minus minus. Um, there, another thing that you can do is Let's say you have x equals 2 and you want to make that to 4. So you would write x plus equals 2. This is basically just saying x equals x plus 2, just shorter. And lastly, Java has something called casting. Casting is when you want to turn one type into another type. And this is very useful when you want to write generic code and encompass a variety of data types. So for example here, if you have a decimal, let's say 5.3, and you want to store that into a integer variable, because you don't really care about like the decimal, the 0.3, you don't really care about that, you simply put int in parentheses before the variable and it will change it into 5. So int y would now be 5. Java also has a set number range because of the memory storage from um, this to this and it's an interesting fact because when you overgo that, you run into some issues if you have integers.